everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line, Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Yesterday's daily, we're doing a daily today as you might expect. Yesterday's daily was really good, we finished 125th. Uh, I'll check that quickly on Greed Butt, because at least when it comes to that score, I'm a little bit of a narcissist. On Greed Butt, we were actually 45th yesterday once you purge um, guaranteed or sus and suspected cheaters, I guess, which is top 0.22%. Maybe my best daily ever. It's up there anyway. Little, a uh, little shorter for time, but the uh, score part of it was good. It's still so funny to me that Kate and Aluke were like, you know, what, thirty-three points apart, twenty-three points apart. That's crazy. Plus, we beat Mathis, which is just you know like the icing on the cake. Today's daily goes to Mom's Heart Blue Baby. Uh, seems like it might be a little bit tricky. Arumba's no slouch when it comes to Isaac, even though you you know look at his daily yesterday, you might say the, the, he, maybe he is, but uh, no, he's a uh, he's got an analytical mind and the fingers to match. That came out wrong. Uh, I am a little bit under the influence of an over-the-counter medicine known as Dayquil right now. Immune system's been acting up. I was up until like six, seven in the morning last night. Alternatively. Or I should say, oscillating between like, eh, this is the coldest place on Earth. I literally live in Antarctica. And then like, oh, is anybody, is anybody hot right now? It's hot in here. It's like a furnace. Um, so I'm not feeling that well, but my voice is actually like surprisingly good. And, you know, I can handle the, the mental weirdness and, you know, blase-ness of, of being a little bit under the weather. As long as my voice holds out, we're going to we're gonna finish this daily and it's going to be fine. Probably. Chemical peel is pretty good. Card Against Humanity, uh, I, I don't really know what you do with Card Against Humanity in this situation, because, you know, I mean, you, we could make a whole room filled with poop, is pretty much the, the gist of it, right? Um, am I that interested in that? No, not really. It can give us uh, an awesome amount of money, and by awesome, I mean, like, let's be real. You know what? I think we totally should buy a Spirit Heart here if there's one available. Uh, by an awesome amount of money, I really do mean, like, Maybe 15 cents? If you if you did it on a big room and shot all the poops, which would take like probably two or three minutes, you could probably get 15 cents out of it. Um, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to get to boss rush. Most of the time, I think it's probably not worth it, but uh, there have been situations where petrified poop has saved my butt a little bit. Not petrified poop. Petrified poop would be amazing right now. Um, oh, that was almost terrible damage. Um, but uh, Card Against Humanity, I should say. It can also give you spirit hearts. It's just uh, much more rare. That was a terrible bit of damage right there on my part. But we did buy the spirit heart at least. So we know that... Um, oh, small rock is really good too. So we know that um, we can take a deal with the devil if we just don't get hit again. Are most people going to have a bomb for that tinted rock? Yeah, I would say probably almost everybody would have a bomb for that tinted rock. That was horrible damage. Entirely my own fault, but horrible damage nonetheless. Just don't let Big Haunt get too close to you. You know, I, I joked, because uh, I back when Afterbirth was still not out, I was a little under the weather for a couple days. Uh, I don't know, I think we are talking about back in like April or something like that. So it was a, it was a while ago. Uh, but I played really well while I was sick, which was weird. But it's not really that weird, you know, Pseudo-Ephedrine is an ingredient. It, it's also the namesake for Pseudofed, but... Oh, nice, a, a Spirit Heart here is pretty big. And the sun, might as well take this. Uh, let's try the pill. I don't, I don't regret it necessarily. Goodbye, card against humanity. I'm taking the sun. Um, but you know, pseudoephedrine is in Dayquil, and it's a banned substance in in sports. I think it gives you maybe not a competitive edge, but it's like a fat burning supplement or something like that. If I remember correctly, it was like it used to be an over the counter legal thing or a prescribed legal thing in America that like bodybuilders used, and then. The FDA was like, hold up, people are having heart attacks. And then it became a banned substance. So maybe, maybe it actually is a, a, a performance enhancing drug. And I'm like the new, you know, Jason Giambi or something like that when I'm under the weather. Actually, I'm Buddy Rich when I fly off the handle. And what can it be? It's a mirage. I'm telling y'all it's sabotage, but... I'm telling y'all it's sabotage. No, okay. Excuse me, thank you. Not a sticky nickel, which is awesome. So I kept the sun card. My idea with the sun card is basically that eventually we may want to use the sun card to speed up a floor. We picked up... Oh my god, another nickel. That's awesome. We picked up Continuum. Continuum is... Uh, I don't think it really does too much for us, but it's not necessarily bad. Maybe if we get like Lump of Coal, it would be pretty good. 
I haven't really seen a situation in which I've been super stoked about Continuum, but it's a it's a really cool idea for an item. I'm sure this, there's a synergy, you know, lying beneath like a Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer film that I just have not, uh, you know, seen for myself yet. We do have uh, the resources to get to our item room and our shop, which is always nice. I don't know why I didn't expect that to happen there. Uh, what we don't have is quite enough money yet. Hopefully that'll get sorted out. Fate's reward is okay. I forgot we'd already been to our item room as well. We'll definitely use a bomb to get that. Um, money? Just like a little money there would have been awesome, but that's okay. Judgment. We'll blow up the judgment probably. I should have done it right there, but let's see what we got going on in here. Regular shopkeeper, pay to play. Um, I think we just buy the spirit heart. Throw down the judgment, blow them both up. I don't like to play judgments in greed mode as much because, uh, or not greed mode, daily challenges because you uh, do end up losing points for them. We basically spent four cents on a key, or we got four cents for a key, so we'll just buy our key and treat that as a loss of one penny. And then see what we got going on here. It's double monstro on a real tiny ass room. This has the potential not necessarily to kill a lot of people. I gotta wipe them out, man. But to, at the very least, put them in a position where they have a good chance to get killed on a future floor, I think. That boss fight was heinous. Um, really glad I bought all the spirit arts I bought. It allowed me to get a little brimstone, which admittedly does put me in a really, really tight spot right now. But I'm I'm not the kind of... Uh, not the kind of dude to get too freaked out about that just yet. Could happen, admittedly. Uh, HP is pretty low. Addicted is not so bad as long as we don't get hit by a spider on this room. And blow this up. Red hearts. Okay, well, obviously we definitely need spirit hearts. I'm gonna head down to the next floor, I suppose. That was a, a really surprising and horrible boss fight. Double red monstro in that tiny ass boss room. Things could go south here, but everybody's gotta go through that point, right? So, maybe if we'd uh, popped the... Sun card earlier, we wouldn't have gotten hit so much, but I kind of feel like a lot of the damage there was pretty much luck of the draw. Now we really, at this point, would probably be looking at uh, Isaac's uh, Isaac's head is something we'd like to drop because it is taking a spot in our familiar order, which could go to Little Brimstone instead. So if we get another trinket soon, that's decent. I would, you know, be a little bit more incentivized than average even to go for it. We got a nice little pickup here in Blue Baby's Only Friend. That is horrible. Lucky to be alive, honestly. Blue Baby's only friend is not horrible. My The damage I took is, is horrible. Uh, that was a bad bomb placement there. What did I tell you? Roomba's no slouch at Isaac, man. This is like the same amount of points that he had when he died. And, and we're, what, one hit ahead of the curve right now? One, one hit away from being in exactly the same position that he was in? That's no joke. This is not the day quill. This is just a, it's just a tricky ass daily right here. Okay, let's try for a second secret room. Could be the difference between life and death. I think we gotta try to fight the boss. You know what I think is semi advisable? I almost got hit there. I saw it coming a mile away, and I still almost got hit. Uh, I think this is an advisable strategy. Just harp on him with uh, Blue Baby's only friend here. Okay, torn photo. You know, I, I don't even really want to fight it in case it's Krampus. It's not Krampus, it's actually Abaddon, which keeps us alive. Holy shit. And then I will take Fear Shot, um, because we have the HP for it now. Uh, okay, well, it's a load off my shoulders, for sure. Um, I certainly feel like we're in a, a better position now. We're going to have three Spirit Hearts, I think. Looking forward to going, hopefully, to the shop and maybe picking up some more. If we have to buy uh, a, a spirit heart on every single floor, I'll, I'll consider that not a tax, but actually like an incredible benefit for ourselves that we're able to do so. We're at 14 cents, about to hit 15, hopefully. Uh, I would love to go to the curse room, but it's not going to be guaranteed. The power pill is just okay. So uh, in a lot of dailies, there's, there's almost like a bottleneck that happens. And if you, if you don't make it to the bottleneck, or make it through the bottleneck, you die. That happens uh, fairly regularly. On today's daily, it looks like that Abaddon deal with the devil might have been the bottleneck. You know, once you pick that up, you go from however many spirit hearts you have, which, you know, 
obviously was probably going to be low as a result of that monstro room. To six, no matter how many you had when you when you started it, you're going to go up to six. So you also get the damage bonus associated with it. Then you have the choice to take another pretty good um, damage upgrade as well in in dark matter. Doesn't mean that this run is sorted and is now going to be easy, but it just uh, you know goes to show you this daily is. I don't want to say well designed, but interestingly designed. It's not not well designed. I just don't know if it's designed at all. It's just an interesting daily. All right, we will uh, definitely buy that. I would love to get blank card just just for the possible like breaking aspects that we could get later. Stopwatch uh, is no slouch either, but blank card's got more interesting stuff to go along with it for sure. And we're still ahead of schedule for boss rush. Uh, I don't really want to go to the curse room. You know, you got something's got to give, right? You got to make some kind of. Uh, Sacrifice in order to make this happen, so. Yeah, let's just head down to the next floor. We already checked second secret room there. Allow me to take a drink of my water here. Let's see what we got going on. Double key. We actually have four spirit hearts, so I'll tell you what, I will go to the self or I will go we'll go to the curse room here. Um basically traded a spirit heart for a penny and Guppy's Paw. Okay. Uh that was well worth it. Guppy's Paw obviously not going to pay out for us in the same way that it would for uh, a character that can use red hearts, but... A positive pickup nonetheless. Obviously we have Deal with the Devil Precedent. Looking for some more keys, go to that double key room. It's a sticky nickel, but uh, if you blow it up, it becomes a regular nickel, so... Basically traded a bomb for five cents and we needed the money more than we needed that one extra bomb right now. Sure! Crack it open. We got two keys out of it, so it definitely ended up being mostly a no-brainer. We're in a really weird situation here with um, with Blue Baby's only friend. Normally, it carries you for like three or four floors while you get up the damage necessary to make it not as attractive of, of an option. But as we're looking at it right now, like we already have enough damage to make Blue Baby's only friend not obsolete, but not our our number one choice. But if we can get like you know the damage from our tears and Little Brim and uh, Blue Baby's only friend, then it's great for us. Or if we really, really need to focus on dodging, we could just kind of set it and forget it, you know? I I should be hit here. I'm, my new strategy for bonies, though, is basically, like, never stop moving. As long as you never stop moving, uh, the, the goblins can never get you. Hate this room. Always will. But, uh... You basically just gotta gotta kind of nut up and deal with it, I guess. And that went completely fine, mostly because we had really good damage. Uh, guillotine. Guillotine has fucked me on a couple dailies in the past, so I'm gonna choose to say no to it for now. I like it as an item on a regular run. I'd probably, ah, uh, I mean, our HP is not great right now. I'd probably think twice about taking it, but I might give it a shot. Uh, but on this run right here, we really can't justify it, only because Guillotine is cost me some potentially great ranks in the past. Alright, remember, never stop moving. Ideally, if you never change directions, even better. You know what? There you go, you've done it to yourself. Greed fight at this point is not bad, but I was really hoping to get another Spirit Heart so we could finance a deal with the Devil. No big deal, though. Just think of all the Spirit Hearts we'll be able to get on the next floor. Now, all we need is an Awaz, Ruel. An Awaz rune doesn't even give us that much, it just gives us like one extra floor. We're not gonna be able to fight Hush either way, but a, um... I guess a Hierophant card for guaranteed survival would probably be better right now. I don't know why I sound so down, I mean we're lucky to even be in this situation in the first place, but... And of course from our boss fight, if we could pick up like a, uh... Super Bandage or a Squeezy or something along those lines, anything that gives us more than one... Spirit Heart, but is also an HP upgrade, so I don't have to feel guilty about it. Even Meat would be okay, because it's like a little damage in HP. You only get Salty when it's like just one HP upgrade. One Spirit Heart. Ooh, amazing. It's a five cent deal with the or five cent uh, boss item. I do think as of right now, we're probably, we're, we're throwing down the potential for a very above average score. Hey girl. Want to come hang out? I consistently put down uh, above average Binding of Isaac Afterbirth daily challenge scores. And my Jimmy runs deep. So deep. So deep ranked in the top 0.23%. Okay, Necropolis XL means we're pretty much set for time. Uh, probably. 
Unless we go royally in the wrong direction and fight like five super envies. Not gonna open that just yet. We also didn't open the double key room. Um, probably should have, to be honest with you. That's my bad. So we're looking for skulls in all the right places here. We want skulls because skulls give us the potential to get cards, and any card that we get can be used not an infinite number of times, but you know, probably like 20 or 30 over the course of the whole run. It's pretty great. Oh, there's a tinted rock there. Lord knows I could use some bombs. And by bombs, I mean spirit hearts. Anyway, there's our fifth spirit heart. Yeah, I deserve to get hit there. I think one of my continuum shots hit my bomb towards me, and then I ran. I, I found myself in just a an endless array of bullshit dodges that I basically inflicted upon myself. Well, there's one more left. There is a card. The card is death. Blank card death is already better than uh, Necronomicon. So I am I am pro blank card death. We did get one with that. Um, but I'd like to get a better card if possible. How to jump is not worth it, but we will pick it up, put it back down. So we get the book uh, out of the rotation. And we got very lucky. There's our other item room right there. Mom's bottle of pills is also pretty bad. But we do find ourselves in an interesting spot. Plenty of opportunities to pick up some cards here. And the bombs are not necessarily that meaningful, so... No cards, man. I mean, the pill is interesting, but also very, very scary. Many interesting things can be scary. Have you seen It Follows? Have you seen The Babadook? Have you seen Meet the Spartans? Have you seen Norbit? Anyway. Keep yourself back here. I really thought we were on the cusp of like breaking this run wide open, but uh, it hasn't gotten much better since picking up Abaddon. Could still use quite a lot to, to take us to the next level, honestly. Ah, oh, fucking continuum shots, man. On the bright side, sweet. Two spirit arts for two bombs is a great deal. We have to keep one bomb uh, just for the chance of getting uh, a better skull and well, a better card, basically. Hanged Man card would be so good here. Death card is not bad. It's just not good enough. And, you know, we do have to do boss rush as well, so... Death is not really the ideal card for boss rush. It's not horrible. We'll do a little damage to a, a few bosses, but it's not very good. Oh, this is our room. For sure. Come on. Two skulls. That's, like, real nasty. Okay, uh, what do you got for me in here? It's a big room. And we're probably going in the wrong direction. That's okay. Give me some skulls. I don't know if this is a great room to use death on. You know, these enemies are relatively non-tanky. Even though it's taken me 45 minutes to defeat them. Ooh, that was close. I'm getting, like, nervous, but we still have so much time. We should have so much time, at least. Blank card, Hira Fomp. Blank card, Perthro Rune. I didn't even get the other skull up there. That was a poor placement on my part. I really sincerely believe that if we do boss rush on this run, we have the potential for a top, you know, 1 or 2% run. Haven't taken too much dumb damage. Uh, survived. That's fine. Uh, which a lot of people won't be able to say, I think, on this run. Yeah, this is a Blue Baby's Only friend setup. Also great for situations where we need infinite range, but also some measure of control. I don't think I can open that golden chest up, just because I really would like to find the boss rush. The boss room, I guess, technically, but it's for boss rush. And we're at 17 minutes, it's not really tight for time, but it, it could get there pretty soon. You don't think it's down in the other direction from my previous dead end, do you? Should be using the death card a little bit more. I mean, we're getting pressed a little. Oh my god, it's, a, it's like a... It's a curse of the labyrinth and a curse of the take forever with the everything. This could be the right direction. 
I want to hit the shop. Oh, that's bad damage, but first did bad damage in a while. I want to hit the shop if possible so that we can actually, like, maybe just buy a card. Envy fight. That's not that bad. Seems bad. It's not that bad. I promise. Because we can do that. Got a bomb out of it. Uh, 18 minutes. I'm starting to think that boss rush might be implausible on this run. And that's uh, a real bummer, because it shouldn't be. The exception will be if this was the right way. I still think there's a chance we could make it. It's just unlikely. And uh, that bums me out quite a lot. <laughs> but it does give a, a huge benefit to the people who didn't use the sun card in the monstro fight. And I think for that, you deserve some credit. However, because uh, you'd have blank card sun right now, you'd know where to go, basically. In addition to having the effect of the death card. But I'm disappointed... Because it's, it's dictated a little bit by by random chance. But hey, welcome to Isaac, I guess. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Go Really Fast and Hope for the Best. Bum, bum, ba -dum. This is not our right direction. So now the chance has become even slimmer. But an Emperor card, mayhaps. No reason for that at all. The stars. Death beats the stars? Possibly? But I don't really want to uh, do it because the stars card at least gives us a teleport that maybe we could use. And yeah, we probably should have stuck with death. But it's if I when I get to the point where I have to rationalize it like that, it probably would have been better to do things the other way. But oh, uh, let me guess. I didn't want to guess that. Let me guess. These rooms uh, match one another. Oh my god, we may still make it. Yeah, I was like one room away this whole time. I knew it. I knew it. War, you gotta die, like, real quick, dog. That may be quick enough. And actually having a single orbital is gonna be so helpful. For when the foot actually shows up. And I'm not talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We have to. We fucking did it. That's actually outrageous. Get in the room. Don't use blank card. Oh, fuck yeah. Use Ipecac, dog. I mean, Unicorn Stump's cool too, but Ipecac is what we need here. Holy shit. Okay, so I didn't really talk for a while there. How did we end up making this uh, bucket of syrup work out for us? Uh, basically, I used my orbital really aggressively... To make sure that I, I hit whatever phase of mom showed up at that given time. And it did the job. Uh, at great peril, of course. And I really, really think that getting in there is going to give us a leg up on the competition that, that many people will probably not be able to take advantage of. Not because I'm necessarily a better player, but just because, you know, a little bit of lady luck on my side. Of course, we actually have to get through boss rush to make it... Uh, have worked out well for us, otherwise it's just a complete waste. Also, I'm like not using Little Brimstone at all now. And that's not a good sign. But, let's just focus. Focus on using Ipecac. Focus on not dying. Fistula is like a great partner to have with the bloat, because... His death is uh, guaranteed. Possible we want to get a little Brimstone involved in the action here. It's not always going to be possible. Man, what I wouldn't have given for the Hierophant. Or even like Dagaz as a rune would be so worth it for us right now. Alright, that's the kind of setup we're looking for. Be able to fire, like, a ton of Brimstone shots. Or a ton of Ipecac shots at an enemy. But also have little Brimstone ready for the first uh, wave that pops up. Stain's being real fucking annoying right now. Dude, for real? Like, I know there's no Hush fight on this one, but come on, man. I actually want him to do his bullshit wave attack. 
That way he can actually, like, stay above ground for more than 10 seconds. Okay, non-monstro too. That's a little bit of a surprise. Still working in, like, rebirth boss rush uh, waves. Good dodge. It's gonna take us a while. We don't have a, a very well um, adjusted boss rush run here. It's just okay, basically. But having the opportunity is still super valuable. Double Fallen's gonna be real tough to, to handle here. Oh, unless we accidentally kill him. Which is extremely good, <laughs> okay. I can live with that. Now. Cage is no joke. Basically just firing in blind uh, little brimstone shots. Still got, for my money, probably one of the hardest attacks to dodge in the game. Okay. Made it through that one. Dingles are going to be dead. Uh, never mind. Dingles have apparently lived. Much tankier than I originally expected. Easy waves. Seems like we really stacked up a lot of, like, semi-difficult waves right near the start. And we need to watch out for Fate's Reward, too. Like, its shots still totally explode. So it's Mega Maw and the Frail. If possible, it'd be very nice to avoid the second part of the Frail until we kill Mega Maw. Which basically went, like, inverted, but was still pretty glorious for us. I still think that on this run right now, survival is like an issue. What? Oh, that's... Look, it's not bullshit. Like, it's it's mathematical. But at the same time, it felt like bullshit in the moment. Who we find? Little Horn and an enemy that spawns enemies. Okay, well, Little Horn and Chubb is not that bad. Oh, you know what? I probably shot a poop or maybe Fate's Reward shot a poop or something like that. That's why we got hit. Easy one? Yeah, this is like the easiest one. This is definitely like, I feel like we've had really easy daily la dailies lately. I took one with nine lives and, and fought the hush and died. Um, that was my own idiocy. Everybody else was like, this is a top like 2% daily. And they were right. I was wrong, so I shouldn't use my, my, my silly voice for that. That being said, uh, this this is the hardest daily I think we've had in at least, you know, a week or two. Polycephalus is kind of a joke, though. Oh, we did it. We got Parasite. That's horrible. Let's take it. Okay. It's not horrible. It's actually, it's fun. Uh, but it, as Ipecac, or with Ipecac, it's pretty bad. Especially with Fate's Reward shooting at us as well. Let's just try uh, the Stars card. Wow, that's what an exquisite... Uh, value it's provided us today. Maybe it is, it doesn't seem to really be working with Ipecac, which might be great news for us. We're on an XL floor. This is, uh, not necessarily terrible. Does mean when we find our boss fight, you know, it's gonna be, uh, a lot faster for us to finish things if we find it early. We are kinda searching for an Awaz rune if possible. But uh, I don't know how we're going to force it. Like, we don't have rune bags, so we can't just expect one to show up kind of naturally. Can't really force it. it. Like, using the stars card, maybe we can push it a little bit. I don't know. Not to get an AWAS room, but to get, like, an error room, maybe. But I think we're probably, like, basically this is end of the line. Uh, this guy's going to explode, so tell you what. Um, let's... Charge little brims. No, let's just use blue baby's only friend. You freaking idiot. That was so dumb of me Let all my like continuum ipecac shots came back to haunt me there There we go that was what it what was going on with my shooting right now. It's so much worse Than it was at the start of the floor. Yeah, just just hit him once you got it man. You know what? We know it's a dead end. Yeah, I was like, let's just teleport out of that room. Because that room, it sucks with Ipecac. We were probably going to get hit. Of course, it ended up working out extraordinarily nicely for us. That we, you know, found ourselves getting directly to the boss fight. 
And this is probably where we're going to end the run. And honestly, I think we, we can be proud of this one. We'll take White Pony into our, our mom's heart fight. We'll rest easy knowing we could have fought Hush. Bad damage on my part. Yeah, you got it, Blue Baby's only friend. We could have fought Hush if they'd opened the door for us. But they can't open the door for us. So this will be our daily today. And honestly, again, I think especially under the influence or aided and abetted by uh, Dayquil, depending on your perspective, this is a pretty okay one. I can feel good about this. I imagine we'll probably be top 1,000 to put it conservatively. I think we got a pretty good shot at top 500. Didn't take too much dumb damage at all. And we'll just walk in here. No exploration bonus to speak of, but there you go. 285th. I think that's pretty much exactly where we belong. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.